think this is going to be my most personal tattoo by far. I choose the, the locations of mine quite carefully because I don't want to look like a tattooed person. I just like to have them but knowing that they're there for me. I often lie. <laughs> if people ask me about them I say I only have the ones that they've noticed. I feel no compulsion to tell or show anybody. Getting a portrait tattoo of my dad. It's a tribute to my father who's just my absolute role model. He's he's helped me through so much and he's always been there for me. So like something like that. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Great. Cool. It's also half just a dedication to him and showing him how much he means to me and how important he is to me that I want him his photo drawn on me forever. I've been interested in tattoos for a long time and um, I've just heard Edgar's name multiple times on reviews, on the internet, through photos and just, I mean, he's got the biggest waiting list that I've ever come across when trying to get tattooed. It took me nearly a year to get this. So, I mean, that speaks for itself. I'm getting the tattoo on my upper inner arm because it's kind of forever going to be in the corner of my eye. It's not on my back or out of place where I can't see it and it's, it, it's kind of positioned next to my heart. Yeah, my dad is the closest person in my life to me. The photo is actually probably one of the only good photos of my dad. He's not that photogenic. It captures his really nice smile and how I see him perfectly. My dad and I always like to do different things on Christmas Day. We don't like to have a conventional Christmas. A couple of years ago we got up at about 4am and drove into central London and we hired some bikes and just cycled around the whole of London whilst it was completely empty and at night time and then kind of just watched the sun come up in, uh, in Oxford Street while there was not a single person around and it was just, I don't feel like I could do that with anyone else. I work hard, it was a very hard one, but uh, I think uh, I managed to make it look exactly like it was in the photo. I would love to see uh, the reaction of her dad as well. <laughs> I think he's going to be happy too. I feel really good. I can't wait to just kind of get home and have a proper look at it myself because obviously it's been quite a busy afternoon, but I think it will really kind of sink in how special it is when I can kind of see it just on my own and in my own settings um, but I, I mean from what I can see at the moment it's just perfect it's flawless I mean Edgar is just so talented and I wouldn't have wanted anybody else to have done it besides him and I'm, I'm elated I'm just I just kind of wanted to see it in my own space now just to be able to take it in properly <laughs>